Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the NASCAR 21 Ignition Career Mode. I want to thank everybody who has watched this series so far. I've really enjoyed bringing this to you. If you guys like this content, want to see this channel grow, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more. It takes a second of your time. Today's episode, we are in the first race of the round of 12. Hopefully have a good run today after sweeping that first round of the playoffs. Nine wins on the year. Now, I got, now guys, I know you probably notice a little bit of change in the attire for this episode. I recently just picked this hat up while I was away at Richmond. Figured what a better time to debut this hat than today. Uh, I had an absolute ball at Richmond. I will be doing a little bit more of a retrospective kind of a, not really a look back, but kind of a, how, my, my experience at Richmond as a whole. I thought it was a very good track, very nice, and the people there were great. But we're going to do a retrospective of it in the upcoming days here. Hopefully you guys would like to check that out. But... Today's episode, as like all episodes, have are sponsored by Raise Energy. Remember to use that code BEERGUT10 at checkout. The link will be posted down in the video description. Save yourself 15%. Guys recently started going back to the gym. Lost about 15 pounds so far. Very, very happy with that so far. And I feel amazing. I, I really do. I, I feel like I feel a lot better about myself. I sleep a lot better at night uh, ever since I started losing weight. And I'm going to continue to work out and lose weight. And Ray's Energy has been a big part of that. So, guys, I, I would definitely recommend checking them out. We're going to have a lot of fun here today. We had a 12th, I think it was a 12th place finish. Maybe it was 11th at the last Las Vegas race. I felt like, I feel like we could only improve this time around. Now I went ahead, I bumped up the difficulty. I took out auto braking and hopefully we can have a solid run today after sweeping the first round. We're going to get this qualifying session underway, but let me tell you guys, this is... It's going to be a fun season. I'm, I'm, I've mentioned in the, the videos prior, we are going to bump up the, diff, or the length next time to 15 percent. I've decided against running stages in this series because we know who's been with fast the at these tracks all year, problems with, the playoffs, with this can jump up to game. The top of the pile they haven't really corrected the whole stage thing stage problem thing I'm just not gonna run them I'm gonna run a little bit longer I think I'm gonna put damage on this time wish me luck guys because I know after two or three times you slap the wall you'll blow a tire out I'd like to incorporate pit stops I think that would be a lot of fun we're we're just it's not a very good I'm, I'm doing the best I can to make right, this game work as best as possible. Now, maybe I'm pushing a little bit too hard. And don't worry, guys. I'm also going to put other NASCAR content on here. Whether it be diecast reviews. I did just review a new diecast that actually a buddy of mine from the Army got me for my birthday. So, I'm going to post that up in the top right-hand corner. It's another Eric Jones Petty 43, it's the Tide of Food City car, which is absolutely beautiful. I thought it looked good on the track, and it looked good. It looks good in my collection. Now, at some point, once I get everything a little bit more organized around here, and get, you know, I want to get a couple things, you know, a better place to put my NASCAR die casts, because I've got a shitload of them, not even going to lie, got a lot of them. I, I'm going to do more of a, and I'm probably going to do it on beer gut, beer gut play, or beer gut reviews too. So speaking of beer gut reviews, 
link to that channel is going to be posted in the top right corner. It, it's, um, I've got a lot of cool ideas that I want to do with this channel and other channels, so I'm really excited how, how far we've come so far. I do have, you know, and I've mentioned this in other videos, I've kind of made a wish list for NASCAR 22 if it does actually come out. I'm not 100% sure if it will because how bad this game was and is. Let's let's just face, let's call a spade a spade. Let's face the facts. Let's let's just the game's not very good, unfortunately. It's a little depressing at times because I'm still playing this damn thing. But you know, maybe if they get a second chance, maybe they'll get it right. Now, obviously, the stages, the glitchiness, all that stuff. I, I understand games are glitchy at release. I mean, granted, I'm kind of an old head gamer from, you know, back when I was playing on Nintendo and stuff like that. Point being, I understand that's just kind of the way things are now. I understand that. I get it. But the, the, the release of the, the game was just... A cluster. It was terrible. It was a clusterfuck. It was terrible. And, you know, I don't want to go through this again. I may... I think I held out for a little while to buy it, but I am such a a NASCAR fan that I ended up buying it, didn't really do my research, and, you know, now I'm just trying to make this game work. But, you know, it, my couple requests for this game... You know, you start your own team in career mode. Obviously, I'd like to see a little bit more than, hey, I'm just going to take over this ride. <coughs> and that's how you start your career. That's, I'd like to go through the, the various series. Now, I don't know if that's going to be able to happen in 22, maybe 23. But, because I, ne I imagine they're going to be working on the next gen car which I did the next-gen testing, and it looks, the next-gen car looks amazing. I hate the fact that you can only run at one track, and you can only run one car. Like, why? That, that's silly. I wish, you know, if you, if you do sign with a team, like, you can add a second team, much like the, the Petty GMS merger. I thought that'd be great, you know, clear, clear. how Colleg bought a couple charters, everything like that. I think for Daytona, especially in career mode, Daytona, you can show up in a non-chartered team and try and make the race. And could potentially miss the show. I, I mean, as crazy as this sounds, like that is... To me, that is the thrill of watching these smaller teams, your New York Racing, your Beard Motorsports, your non-charter teams, you know, trying to make that great American race to, you know, get that money for whatever reason. I That is a big thing with NASCAR with me, is seeing these small little teams try and qualify for the Daytona 500. Now, I understand... Obviously, with the way things are right now in NASCAR and everything like that, we lost a bunch of teams. You know, the the Levine family racing, the... There was another team in there. Uh, Jermaine. Jermaine's gone. But they all got purchased by other teams. Starcom's gone, got purchased by another team. But... Ganassi's gone, but... You know, that's track house is pretty much Ganassi at this point. They're working around a Ganassi shop, everything like that. I I miss the thrill of trying to make the show. You know, much like uh, baseball and your your stick and ball sports, which I do watch and everything like that. You know, your your minor leaguers have to do a certain thing, stuff like that. It, it would just make the game a little bit more exciting, like the fear of missing the show. Now, I do like the fact that they do have driver retirements in career mode, and they get replaced by, you know, the Bush, which would be the Bush series and the truck series, people, all that. I think that's kind of neat. But, 
let's make it a little bit more in-depth. You know, like, I don't know. I, I just, I, I always think into my head, and I, I have a couple games for, from the PS2 era, the career mode and the, the, you know, all that stuff was just way more in-depth. Be kind of cool to see them go through the lineup and have little little quotes and stuff like that. Now, granted, it'd probably be a little bit harder considering you're using a creative character and all that. But still, uh, they could do it like, oh, the number 43 team. Or, I'm just going to use that because that's the car I'm in. Number 43 team, your series points leader has won the past two races, yada, yada, yada. Shit like that would just make so much more to this game. I've spent the past t ten minutes rambling about this game. Haven't talked about the race at all, which is just crazy. But there was just, there was such a missed opportunity. They took two years to develop this game. It was, I thought it was going to be way better than it was. And trust me, look, all I hear is, oh, we're good eye racing, good eye racing. Motherfucker! If I wanted to go to eye racing, I'd go to it. I don't exactly. Here's the problem with me and eye racing. And it's not. Like, I'm playing on a controller. Don't own a wheel. Let me tell you something. If I bought the equipment to do eye racing, let me tell you, I'd have no fucking life. No offense to anybody that, that does eye racing, but I I have a very addictive personality. So I would get addicted to fucking eye racing. Let me tell you something. And it you know that's kinda why I just like the, the console games. I understand they are not as good as eye racing. And that's fine by me. Let me tell you, if I bought eye racing, I'd get addicted addicted to it. I wouldn't play anything else. Because I've seen the videos, everything like that. I've watched the the invitationals when pandemic was going on. I've watched all that shit. And let me tell you, I would get so goddamn addicted to it. Right. It's not even funny. Clear, clear. I wouldn't play anything right. else. You know. Right, hold your I, I wouldn't call all out right. work, but I wouldn't go to bed till like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. I get up at 5. It's not exactly great for what I do. So... Jesus Christ, I've been rambling for the past 12 minutes as this Stay is the left. final Stay lap. Clear, clear, clear. It, it's just crazy. Uh, anyway, we're, we're running pretty hard here. We were running pretty hard for a 27th place finish. Not exactly the best thing. We are going to drop down in the points, obviously, with Kyle Larson as your winner, and that's okay, and we take him out, we're going to move on to next week, Talladega, hopefully we have a better run, kind of help us regain some points, we really need it, but guys, I am about ready to just wrap this bad boy up, not a solid not the greatest of days for us, but if you like this content, please make sure you hit the like button, you comment down below, you subscribe to this channel for more, watch out for all the other videos that I am going to be posting on this channel. I'm going to be doing various different NASCAR gameplays, various different diecast reviews, give my opinions on things, everything like that. Guys, hope you all have a wonderful day. A wonderful evening whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next video peace out my friends